Liberal Dan Radio presents Fat Man Rants. Last night on MSNBC, you had Lawrence O'Donnell talking about the Florida abortion vote, where you needed 60% of the vote to enshrine abortion rights in the Florida Constitution, and Florida Floridians came out and only gave 57% of the vote towards uh, the abortion amendment, so the abortion amendment narrowly failed. Now, what this idiot, Lawrence O'Donnell, now let's, let's remind everybody, Lawrence O'Donnell is the person who told us, without a shadow of a doubt in his mind, that Donald Trump was never going to run for president in 2016 because of his deals with, with NBC, because of his financials, because of all these reasons, Lawrence O'Donnell was convinced that Donald Trump would never actually run for president, that he wouldn't be the candidate, and it would be done, and it would be somebody else. Well, he was dead wrong, clearly, because he did run for office, and now Lawrence O'Donnell is saying that the Republican Party is going to pay attention magically now to that 57% number in Florida because they're going to say, oh, well, 57% of Florida supports abortion rights, so maybe we need to change our tune on abortion. No, they're not. They're not for one bit. And Lawrence O'Donnell is not the only person in the media, in the big corporate media, who doesn't understand this concept. That it, what people feel about individual issues doesn't matter to the entrenched party as long as the entrenched party knows that there are enough voters who are never going to abandon that party on that singular issue. Be it abortion, be it guns. The, the, the MSNBC prognosticators whine and moan and bitch and complain about the fact, why are these people, you know, not supporting gun, common sense gun reform when 80 to 85 percent of America wants it? Because they know they, they know that they can. They know that they can still be beholden to the NRA and they're not going to lose their voters because their voters, if, even if they think there should be common sense gun control in several states, even if the Floridian voters think that there should be a right uh, to abortion enshrined in the Florida Constitution, even if they believe all that, Governor DeSantis and the other Republicans in Florida and other Republicans all over the place know that enough people who voted yes to, uh, to enshrine abortion rights into the Florida Constitution are not going to stop voting for Republicans. Because even though they support choice, it's not enough for them to abandon ship. They're not going to tell the people uh, who are in their party, look, I'm going to vote for Democrats if you don't stop being this way on abortion. They know they're not going to do that because there are other Republican issues and other issues that are going to make them not vote for Democrats. So why these people have such high paying jobs on a major uh, news network is beyond me because if they're so stupid that they can't understand why these Republican legislators, why these Republican governors, why the Republicans in general won't change their tune on abortion despite 57% voting yes in Florida, you should just quit your job and, and let yourselves be replaced with other people who understand how things work.